Hi everyone, I'm Stacy, and this is episode 4 of The Bargain Bandit. Today I'm going to go over some things that I've bought at thrift stores and yard sales that I have sold on eBay. I hope you enjoy it. One of the items that I recently sold on eBay was a lot of 98 Scrabble tiles. They were the old wooden kind, probably from the 80s. I don't know the exact date because it didn't come with a Scrabble game. It was actually in a box with another Scrabble game, a Scrabble Deluxe game that came with the maroon tiles. They also had a bunch of the old wooden tiles. So I sold that off as a, a lot of 98 for replacement or for crafting. They're really popular for crafting. The next thing we sold was something we actually already had in the house. It was a lot of the micro machines. They're these little itty bitty like cars and planes and trucks and vehicles and stuff. And we had 88 of them and my husband had collected them when he was a kid and we just still had a whole bunch of them. So we sold those off uh, as a lot of 88 of them and there was a little bit of a bidding war on those. So we were pretty happy with the outcome on that one. So the next thing I'm going to tell you about is probably a cheat. It's something we already had and it was something that um, my husband had gotten free. He had been part of the Google Chrome program back in the day um, where they were giving away the Google Chrome laptops to people and we originally were excited to get it because we thought, oh great, now a laptop our kids will play on. Only thing is our kids never wanted to play on it. And I'm not really sure why it was lightweight. It got YouTube, which is their favorite thing. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why they wouldn't play on it, but they wouldn't. So it just basically sat there collecting dust. It was hardly used, you know, barely touched. It was in almost pristine condition. Uh, and we never even activated the 3G on it. So we uh, auctioned that one off and we, uh, we, got, we got more than we imagined for it. So the next item that I've sold is something that I picked up because I personally thought it was kind of neat. And it's, uh, it was a, a Papa Smurf doll from Nanco. It was like 1998 and it was, it was about this big. It wasn't like a super, super big one, but it was, it was a nice size Papa Smurf in really good condition, clean, didn't smell or anything. And uh, I put it up there and somebody bought it for my buy it now price. So. The next item was something I bought at a yard sale. The woman was, it was the end of the day and the woman was trying to get rid of everything and she's like, make me an offer. So she had this, a bunch of rubber stamps that people like to use for crafting. And she had four sets plus a bunch of individual ones. And they were mostly from a brand called Stamping Up, um, which is a, one of the better brands that people like to buy. And so I, um, I asked her how much and she's like, yeah, 50 cents for all of them, which I jumped on because stamps are expensive and I thought I would get more than I did for them and I'm not sure why I didn't I don't know if I ended it at the wrong time or I didn't describe it properly or if they're just not popular sets I'm not sure why I didn't get more for it but I'm happy I, I'm, I made a good profit so this next item is kind of a testament to patience I had listed it four times and it finally sold for my buy it now price on the fourth time I relisted it. It's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. It was in pretty good condition. It was complete except the instructions, the original instructions were missing. Um, but I finally sold it and I just sold it to someone in Australia and the shipping to Australia was pretty steep. So this person must have really wanted it, but I was happy to finally sell it for the price that I wanted to get out of it. So I thought I'd close the show with a look at some of the other items that we have sold or are currently selling on eBay and just a quick overview of what's going on with those. Uh, I sold this guy here. I bought four of them for a quarter. They're Treasure Trolls pencil toppers from the early 90s. I have three that I haven't listed anywhere. They're in a bag. I'm trying to decide whether or not to open the bag and try and sell them individually or to, uh, to sell the three of them in the bag as a lot. But this one went for $1.90. Um, I'll make a buck off of it. It's not a huge profit. So I'm thinking I might try and sell them all as a group for 10 bucks and see what happens. 
Uh, the next thing is this here, triple threat. Um, it's Mankind, Dude Love, and Cactus Jack. These are the McFoley characters that he was in the uh, in the 90s. And this sold for $32, including shipping. So we're just waiting for, for payment on that so we can ship that out. A couple of videos ago, I talked about uh, the items that we bought for $10 with the si signatures, and we got that poster that sold for $75. Well, this here was part of that lot um, that we bought for $10. And it's signed by Alterbridge. Alterbridge has former members of Creed. We did finally sell this for 20 bucks. This year, I talked about my last video. I picked it up for $3. It's currently going for 20, but it'll probably go for higher than that. And then the Wowie robot that I talked about in the last video is up for sale. I paid seven for it. It's at eleven fifty right now, but I'm expecting it to go a little higher than that. Not too much because it's broken, but we'll see. And I'll let you know next video how uh, how Simon and the Wowie robot ended up. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, leave your comments down here. See, I'm getting a little better. <laughs> uh, like, like is over here, yeah, and uh, subscribe is up there. How's that good? <laughs> um, and uh, thank you for watching my video again. And if you have any questions at all, you can email me, Stacy at crosshouseofcards.com or leave questions in the comments and I'll, and I'll try and answer them. And uh, otherwise, please visit us on eBay. Kraus House of Cards and Games is our eBay name. And our website is crosshouseofcards.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.